All right, guys, this is one of the biggest signings that the UFC has had, I think, in years. The UFC has officially signed Kai Asakura, a 21-4 bantamweight from Japan, to the promotion. This was just announced on the Ryzen broadcast. Kai Asakura is the current Ryzen bantamweight champion after knocking out Juan Archuleta, the former champion, in his last fight. Guys, we've been hearing rumors about this for years. I looked back and it was August of 2022, the first time that Kai Asakura posted a picture of him with Dana White. And ever since then, there's been rumors of him going to the UFC. We've had pictures of Nobuyuki Sakakibara, the head of Ryzen, with Dana White. There's been rumors of maybe Kyoji Horiguchi going to the UFC. That's not gonna pan out for the time being, but we do have Kai Asakura, one of the best Japanese fighters, if not the best one right now, going to the UFC, and he's gonna be going into the ultra-loaded UFC Bantamweight division. I've heard, guys, that he wants to fight top five fighters right away. A couple options there, and I'll get to those in just a second. But if you don't know who Kai Asakura is, if you're a UFC fan, you don't really watch Ryzen, Kai is one of the most popular fighters in the whole Ryzen organization. There's a lot of very popular ones, but he, alongside his brother Mikuru Asakura, who's also extremely popular. They're both some of the faces of the whole promotion. Kai and his brother originally got into boxing when they were teenagers, fought in Japan, eventually were signed by Ryzen, and they fought in Ryzen for their last like 15, 16 fights. And, and both of them have been very successful in Ryzen. If you look at Kai Asakura's record, he's 21 and four, and really his only losses come against top level guys. You see a Mino Kop there, Kyoji Horiguchi, Hiromasu, Ogi Kubo and wins over fighters like Yuki Motoya, Juan Archuleta recently. He's also got a win over Hiromasu Ogikubo and Kyoji Horiguchi, as well as UFC veteran Uka Sasaki. And you see there a lot of finishes too. He's finished 13 or 62% of all of his wins by TKO or knockout, three wins by submission. And he's only gone to a decision four times out of his 25 fights. So really impressive, really exciting guy. Kai's style in a nutshell, much more more boxing focused. He's got really good counter overhand rights, devastating knees. He's finished his last two fights with knees. So really good in the clinch. No slouch on the ground as well. Really good reflexes, good knockout power all around. I think he's probably going to do pretty well among ranked UFC Bantamweights. As far as who to match him up with right away, if we're looking at top five Bantamweights, there's really two options there, right? So we got Marab. He's going to be fighting Sean O'Malley later this year. Marlon Vera, Corey Sandhagen are already booked for fights. So that just leaves Peter Yan and Henry Cejudo. Cejudo probably not going to fight a guy making his UFC debut that doesn't have a whole lot of resonance with the broader UFC fan base. So I could see him maybe fighting Peter Yan. That would be a really exciting fight. I feel like that would be an excellent UFC main event or even pay-per-view co-main event. But personally, I'd love to see him fight Song Yudong, ranked currently number seven at the time of this video. Rob Fott would be interesting. I mean, really anyone at Bantamweight in the top 15. All those fights are exciting. Not a single boring fight out of all of that. I actually wouldn't mind seeing him fight outside of the top five first, just to see him get established, get a foot in the door, maybe a little bit better, have a higher chance of winning. That's not to say there's probably guys in the top 15 outside of the top five that I think probably could beat him as well. Bantamweight is one of the most stacked divisions and I mean, really the top 30 in that division are all killers. So I would love to see him fight. Song Yadong or Rob Font would be my choices. And as far as a time frame on that, as far as a time frame on that, I think it'd be pretty soon, right? I mean, Kai hasn't fought since December 31st of last year. And rumors of Kai going to the UFC at some point have been swirling for literally years. So you got to think that like by the time of this signing, they've already got something lined up for him. Is the UFC going to go to Asia? Well, they're not going to go to China in August and potentially even this whole year, unless it's at the end of the year. So I don't know if they're going to go to Asia outside of that. They could could go to Singapore again. I would love to see them go back to Japan again. It seems like that is a market that's been slowly building back up for the UFC. So if the UFC were to plan a show in Japan for the end of the year, obviously that's going to do really well if you set Kai Asakura in the main event against someone like Rob Font, against Piotr Jan, against Song Yudong. That would be a huge fight that you could probably sell off the Saitama Super Arena with. So honestly, Kai is that guy that can really help to re-energize Japanese MMA fans back towards the UFC. Ryzen is doing 
really, really well for themselves. They've got tons of fighters in their organization that can pull pretty big crowds. And the UFC so far, like over the last couple of years, Road to UFC has been a big help with this, but they've been slowly accumulating some really young, really exciting prospects like Tetsura Tyra, like Ray Tsuruya, guys that I think are gonna be in the promotion for a long time that they can build a name off of, potentially at least future title challengers as well. I think that the UFC's golden era with Japan is still yet to come and we could be inching our way back towards there. With Kai Asakura, that is a massive feather in their cap and a linchpin that they can build their push back into Japan around. So I'm really excited to see what's to come from Kai Asakura. Hopefully we get a UFC show in Japan in the near future, maybe this year, if not, hopefully next year. Who would you like to see Kai Asakura face? How do you think he's going to do in the UFC? Leave your comments below and we'll see you next time.